What's going on guys? Welcome back to a little vlog. I've got a lot to talk about today. Uh, health, um, sister location, and some unboxings and uh, some letters as well. Um, what should we go with first? Sister location. Apparently, um, Scott Corfon has decided to possibly delay sister location. And we don't know whether um, it's going to be released Friday or he's going to delay it for a few months. And the reason behind it is that he said... He believes Sister Location is too dark, and he actually wanted to make it more kid-friendly. Now, it's created a lot of upstir in the community, because um, I saw a vote on Reddit, and basically 95, about 90 plus percent uh, wanted Sister Location to come out Friday, and about uh, a, a very, very small amount of people want it to be delayed. And mainly because a lot of people know that uh, Five Nights at Freddy's was originally for a horror game, and people are wondering why Scott possibly wanted to take take it to a more kid-friendly route. And I think it was because um, th what affected him, if you remember a while ago, there was a picture of Mangle hanged on a teaser. And um, uh, th it caused a bit of um, stir in the community. Basically, half of the people said it was too much, and the other half said it was... Um, Fine, and I think that's why Scott said this because I think he's worried about the reaction of his game if it's too dark that people might think it's too like scary and stuff. And um, I, I understand how he feels about that because um, it's basically hypocritical. I remember uh, the Reddit community complaining about this mangled teaser, and now they don't. Now they don't care. Now they're saying, "Oh, actually, I want this sister location game, even if it is dark." It's a bit hypocritical, and I understand why Scott. He's debating this, if he is, because um, another side of it is that he could be completely trolling us and he's just doing it to troll us like he always does. So it's really hard to know when Scott's been serious or not because um, he's, he's basically always been like this where he says something and he doesn't mean it and he's just doing it to troll us. But anyway, that's basically enough of that because I want uh, uh, people were telling me to let me know. People were asking me on Twitter and stuff to discuss about it. So I've added it onto this vlog instead of making a separate video. But we're gonna do this now. We're gonna do one up box. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I'm gonna do this one today. So let's get straight into it. I might as well do them um, each month now on one of the weekly uh, vlogs. So if you look here, we've got a t-shirt and it looks like it's Darth Vader, Mario and Luigi and Link and I think Darth Vader's in there because Star, Death Star or something like that. So that's really cool. Really, really, I like the colour as well, it's a nice light blue. Now this is what I was looking forward to. Look at this. This is really cool. <laughs> no, it, it might be a bit cringy, so prepare yourselves. Basically guys, this is the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. Wow. Would you look at that? Don't you think I look great? It's like some day... <laughs> oh my god, look at me! <laughs> it's a me, Mario! Uh, that's really cool, actually. Oh my god, I've got like a really cool bow tie as well. I might actually use this, because I like actually uh, wearing bow ties uh, for formal things. And it's actually a nice colour. I like that. It's a bow tie of the one-up mushroom. No, not the one-up mushroom. I'm being stupid. The uh, the, the mushroom. Not the one-up. The one-up mushroom's green. Oh, these are really cool. Wow, I actually love these. These are these look like um, Legend of Zelda socks. It actually looks like Ocarina of Time because the there's a rupee um, and the Ocarina is there. And what else is there? The Triforce. It looks like a boss dungeon key. And maybe a shield. So yeah, those are really cool, actually. I like those. And then we've got a Star Wars keychain. It's just really cool. Looks like it's made from rubber. And a pin badge. And it's Mario. It's Mario and Luigi. If you can just about see it. So yeah, thank you, one up box. If you wanted to check any of these out, guys, um, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to purchase your one. I actually really like this month, and I'm going to wear this forever. I'm going to wear this throughout the vlog. Anyway, let's open up some letters. 
and then we'll talk about the health, the, the, the bad stuff. Right. Um, hi, Dorco. I hope you're feeling all right. I'm a big fan, and I'm a subscriber. I donated during night four of Five Nights at WWF. Hope you don't mind how I write it's how my school teaches me. Um, now I've been instructed to do it. Oh, and in Nightmare Before Disney for the Co's. Oh, right, yeah. I know about that now. Thank you. Caden, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Next one. Open Sesame. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that. First ever physical drawing I've given to one of you lot. Love you lots. Thanks for making me smile, Tia. Thank you so much. It's me, Bush, Raz, and Ryan. Looking really, really cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. That's actually really... That's amazing. And I, I know I recognise this picture. This is when we was at Insomnia. Thank you so much. Okay, now I've got this big, big booty box right here. Which is massive. And it's actually got uh, bananas and stuff on it. So let, let's open this one up. Wow, already there's two plushies. That's three plushies. We've got... Um, who are these called again? I think they're like... Uh, Summer Bear, I think. I don't know. Um, let me look on this one. Um, me to you. Me to you, Bear. Look at that. That's so cute. And then we've got this one, which actually looks like it's limited edition. And he's in a lion onesie. Look at that. That's so cute. Thank you so much. And then we've got this one. It says, love you. Personally, I love this one the best. <laughs> it's so cute. They're all cute, though. Right, now we've got the, some letters and stuff to read. Quite a lot in here, actually. Woo! Right. Um, let's do the drawings first. So we've got Get Well Soon. We've Poncho. And then we've got me. With my avatar for YouTube. And then we've got my old avatar for YouTube. It's me as an animatronic. And then we've got... Here's a banana for Lewis. Hope you get better. Thank you. But we're not done yet. I think we've got a letter in here to read as well. So let's open this. Right. Dear Lewis, I wanted to write you a letter. How are you? I've been thinking about you. I have a drawing for you. I would like to. I would like to, for you. I have a drawing for you. I'd like to meet you someday. Thank you, Hannah. P.S. Get well soon. I believe in you. And tell Raz I said hi. Thank you so much, Hannah. I really, really appreciate that. So, yeah, that's basically it. Until... Hold on. Oh, Basically, my whole room's just filled with letters and boxes. Because uh, I don't want to get rid of them. Of course I wouldn't do that. So I'll try and keep them all um, and love them. So, when I'm feeling down, I always have a read through the letters. Anyway, I love this. I love this. I love this. Um, let's talk about a health update. Uh, basically, I've still got my headache, which is getting on my tits. Um, but I bought some spray, and it seems to be doing a nice job. It's still there, but um, we'll just see how it goes. Um, other than that, uh, health-wise, it's just been the same. It's still crap. Um, I can still get chest pains and... Different weird pains, what I've never experienced before. I still, it's actually getting worse lately. Um, like I can't get to sleep a lot. Um, I keep waking up in the sleep, in my sleep, panicking. Um, you know, it sucks. Um, so I went to the doctors uh, again, and I told him about it, and he said um, you're going through a, a life stage where you're just going to keep worrying about your health. And a lot of people go through this stage. And it's usually, ironically, when you hit 20 years old, uh, some people just go through this stage where they just always worry about their health. And um, he said, um, I'm going to... Because it's been going on for so long, um, he thinks it could be depression as well added to it uh, with my anxiety. 
uh, about health. And uh, I've got to go through some therapy and possibly some medication. Um, because it's going on too long, guys. And he said um, it doesn't seem like it's getting better. Like, uh, it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. I had a really good few months and now it's back. And it's back badly. It's like it's like how it was nine months ago. Um, so, yeah, it sucks. Uh, but hopefully uh, this therapy and possibly med medication can help a bit. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I did start therapy before. I went like twice, but I had to stop it because my lung collapsed and I was in hospital, wasn't I? Um, but yeah, other than that, um, things are okay. Um, what else do I need to say? Oh, about Las Vegas as well. A lot of you guys were asking uh, why wasn't I at Las Vegas with the boys. It was because my, of my lung collapse. I'm not allowed to fly for another few months, uh, so I couldn't go. And I could go by boat and get a bus there, but it would have took 30 days to get there and back. So there's no point in doing that. But I'm really glad they had a nice time. Uh, yes, it was depressing as hell to not be there and just be stuck in bed all the weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm glad they had a really good time. And yeah, um, that, I just wanted to let you guys know why I wasn't there. Because a lot of you guys have been asking them as well as me. Um, so yeah, other than that guys, I really hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I like, I always like to keep you guys updated with how things are with me. Um, so yeah, um, if you want to know how I'm feeling, uh, let's give myself a, I don't know, like a 5, five 4 out of 10. <laughs> but hey, if Sister Location comes out this weekend, I'll be really happy and we'll have a good time. Uh, I'm probably going to live stream it by the way, for you guys interested. Uh, but I'll keep you updated, guys, on my Twitter and stuff, uh, how things are going, how's my therapy and my s whatever's going on with my life, as well as what's happening with Sister Location. Really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Lots of love, and I'll see you all next time.